is engineer Chuck. He's the engineer on Genesis, Amtrak state-of-the-art train, and he's going to show me how to run it. So what, how do we do? What do we do? That's what right. do I touch? <laughs> this is going to be real easy for you. Okay. What we have here, this makes the train go forward, go backward, and this is the throttle. It's like the gas pedal on a car. This is your train brakes. keeps the train from going too fast. And this is your engine brake here. This will keep the engine stopping and starting when you want it to. Yeah, we have a I computer that. screen up here, and we have all kinds of stuff yeah. to tell you what's going on yeah. in the back of the train. I can, I can do that. We have a horn and a bell, <laughs> and you just look out the window. I can do that. Watch out for people. to learn about trains, especially old trains, if you like them, is to come to a railroad museum. We've come to the San Diego Railroad Museum, so what do you say we go take a look around? Come on. Trains are fun. At the San Diego Museum, you'll find old cabooses, big engines, more cabooses, steam engines, crane trains, Still more cabooses and more steam engines, too. Now, I know you know what this is. This is a great big, huge old steam locomotive. Now, this one doesn't look very pretty. It's kind of rusty because it's getting ready for restoration. But I think we can use it to explain basically how one works. First, this car back here is called the tender. This is where they put all the water and the fuel. And the fuel can be either wood or maybe oil or coal. Now that is put in the firebox. You'll find a great big huge firebox back in this area here. That creates the heat under the boiler. The boiler is where the water is. That's that big long tube there. That water turns into steam and eventually ends up in that dome up there. That's the steam dome. And then it is pumped through the pipes into this area here. Now this is a big pressure chamber, and what that steam does is create a lot of pressure. It drives the big levers, boom, 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 that turns the wheels that makes the train go. It wasn't all that long ago that the steam engines ruled the rails. Well, as you 
as you can see, the train engines come in all shapes and sizes. This little baby here is called an industrial switcher. It's used for moving lighter loads around train yards. It's pretty neat, huh? Well, you probably noticed that uh, the appearance of freight trains hasn't really changed that much over the years, except for one thing. You won't see any of these babies anymore. This is a little red caboose, as you might know it. And the purpose of the caboose was a place for the conductor to live and to conduct his business. And, of course, it had a tower on top so he could get up there and see all the way to the front of the train and make sure everything was all right. There aren't any cabooses anymore because, well, they don't have to work the long hours so they don't have to spend the night on the train, so they don't need a place to sleep. And with modern electronics, well, it pretty much takes care of the safety of trains. One of the great things about the San Diego Railroad Museum is that they have a real running, working railroad. And this is it. Here it comes now. Hi kids, my name is Denby Jones. I'm director of museum operations for the San Diego Railroad Museum in Campo, California. Come on out and join us. We've got steam engines, we have diesels, we have old cars, we have new cars, and we have an hour and a half train trip. So get hold of your folks, tell them where we are, and come on out to Campo. Engineer Dave is going to be Brakeman today. I have to give you this radio. Brake? Yes, you'll be brakeman. You'll be communicating with the engineer. Well, i got to start as brakeman. You have to start it. as brakeman today. Okay. So use the radio to talk to the engineer because you're on the back of the train and he cannot see you. So he doesn't know what you're doing or where you are. So that's an important job. Very important job. Radio keeps you safe and the train safe. All right. Thank okay. you. Have a good day. Thanks. Well, our first job as a brakeman is to remove this, this brakeman. All right. This is Brakeman Dave to the engineer. We're ready to roll. Take her away. Emergency, emergency. Twenty one oh four engine, come in. This is an emergency call. Emergency, emergency, acknowledge. Radio must be broken. I'm going to have to get to the front of the train and stop it myself. <laughs> 